Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Port Party by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, and it's uh, July 11th. Hope you guys had a wonderful uh, weekend here. We'll get right into it today. We'll start off with uh, base nothing today. We got no economic news scheduled for today. The biggest news actually will be on Friday where we get when we get the CPI news, the retail sales news. Uh, those will be the big ones. We also got the Fed Beige Book coming in on, uh, I believe it's Wednesday, on there with a few smaller reports. But today just happens to be a kind of a quiet day. So today, basically, we're taking our cue from Friday with the jobs numbers. So it's kind of creating a, a little bit more, again, um, push in the uh, stock market. Stock market still liking the jobs numbers uh, from Friday, and it's kind of rising again. On a little note, it's not really affecting us too much today, but there were some elections that went on in Japan uh, where the current leader, uh, Abe Shinzo, uh, his party won more seats, and so now they have a two-thirds majority in their uh, version of a um, Congress, so that way it's easier to pass, uh, especially uh, stimulus packages through. So that's kind of why that has a little bit of important note there. Uh, bond market today, we're down about uh, 13 basis points. So we're just hovering, as you can see here, just hovering about this uh, now a re um, support line. So it used to be a resistance here, now it's a support. And we're just hovering just above about three base points above this line here. So we'll see if we can now uh, hold this, maybe rise. So basically what that means is uh, being 13 points lower than where we left off on Friday will translate to a little bit higher rates today. Uh, as a result of that, we'll see if we can get maybe a spark a little bit late rally. As we saw on Friday, we were down. We even touched off the 10-day moving average, came back, and uh, went up and rallied a bit late in the day. Uh, that helped us out, and um, basically, kind of shows that not a lot of people are jumping, uh, are fully prepared for the equities markets. They think that there's still a lot more to go, so they're going more conservative. That's why we've, even though the stock markets uh, shot up a past uh, pre-Brexit levels. Uh, that the bond market's really kind of retained itself uh, in its value here. So, uh, again, uh, we, that's going to be the main thing this week will be the um, CPI as well as retail sales later this week. So it'll be interesting to see what, we can, what kind of numbers we get for, um, you know, starting the third quarter here. Or second quarter, rather, I'm sorry. Or, yeah, third quarter. Third quarter, excuse me. Uh, Alright folks, you guys have a rest of the great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow.